Hey guys, um, so I, you know, I had I started this channel off um, by doing a by doing a video on uh, on the X1 Carbon Six Gem with FreeBSD, and I just kind of gave my experience to be to be helpful um, to anybody who was kind of considering getting an X1 Carbon Six Gen for FreeBSD. Well, I I kind of I wanted to sort of update you again because I I um. Well, I was going to install, I was going to do a complete fresh install for 11.2 release, which just came out a few days ago. But I thought before I do that, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll install OpenBSD. Um, because I'd heard that OpenBSD is much better in terms of hardware capability, uh, compatibility um, out of the box, especially with ThinkPads. It's very popular with the, th um, ThinkPads are very popular with the OpenBSD community. And uh, so anyway, just just a really quick video to say, uh, sure enough, OpenBSD works a lot better with this laptop um, in terms of its, uh, its out-of-the-box, um, uh, just everything works. Everything works straight out of the box. So like, um, for example, the Synaptics, the mouse pad um, works, um, works perfectly. Um, I have to... The wireless actually works better on OpenBSD. I had less issues. I had no issues with the the wireless on OpenBSD, other than the fact that I had to. Um, you have to initially download the firmware, so I had to um, before I could actually use the wireless. I had to go on the website and download separately the IWM firmware uh, because they don't package it up with the um, with the install um, ISO which is kind of frustrating. It was kind of an annoying extra step, but once you've got the firmware added, um, everything just runs. Everything runs perfectly. Um, I'm trying to think of any dramas I had. Like the um, the graphics worked, uh, actually works I think better than FreeBSD. However, the thing that has been frustrating for me on, I'll, I'll try, and, try and remember some of the things that have gone wrong. One is that OpenBSD generally doesn't uh, has a decreased performance compared to FreeBSD. It just doesn't run as well. It doesn't run as quickly. Um, I find that, uh, like for example, running Firefox. Um, if I run Firefox in FreeBSD, it's lightning fast. I mean, it's it's instant. If I run it in OpenBSD on this laptop, it it's a little bit sluggish. YouTube videos are are a nightmare. You can't. It's a it's a known issue that YouTube videos don't work very well. Um, in Firefox on OpenBSD, and uh, and the fan spins up crazily, so um, it it actually the laptop actually gets hot. So I had it on my lap for an hour yesterday, and I could actually feel the heat coming from the bottom of the laptop for the first time. I never felt it before. On on FreeBSD, I was using using my laptop all day long and never felt that before. Never had that problem. So, and, and because of that, as a natural result of that, um, the um, the battery drains faster. So I'm getting I'm getting less battery time out of it. Um, I'm having other issues like uh, I'm trying to think what else. There was um, like if if I if I try to exit X, if I try to leave X right now, I'll get a black screen. So if I try to go back into the terminal, into the console. Um, it will just, I'll just get a black screen and I'll have to do a hard reset, a hard reboot, because it just won't, um, I don't know why, I don't know why it happens. Um, there's another thing that happens when, um, every now and then, for no reason, or for seemingly no reason, when I boot in, there's a part of the boot process that says, um, reordering library, libraries, and sometimes that will just sit there for ages. And the whole system just sl slows down to a crawl, and I have to reboot again. So there are a couple of little uh, performance issues. Right now, I'm recording this video, as you can see, with FFmpeg. Um, I have to do that because OBS doesn't work. So there's no OBS. Um, there are a couple of programs that work in FreeBSD that don't work with OpenBSD. NVIDIA. I don't have an NVIDIA in this laptop, thankfully, but... Uh, if you have a computer with an NVIDIA GPU, then um, you're out of luck for OpenBSD. So it's kind of a it's a trade it's been a trade off. Um, OpenBSD compatibility wise is way better. You'll have a system that runs 
practically out of the box perfectly um, with OpenBSD. With FreeBSD it does too, but you've got to tinker around with it. It'll take you a little bit of time to get everything working the way it should. But the, the trade-off there, the caveat, is that OpenBSD runs poorly in terms of its speed and its performance compared to uh, compared to FreeBSD. So you gotta kind of weigh that up. Do I want a really fast, um, high performance system that works really well and runs everything, um, but is gonna take me a lot more work to get up and running, or do I want OpenBSD, which is just, um, everything's working for me, but it's slow. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to hang on to, to, to leave OpenBSD on this laptop for a while, um, but I might just continue on with my original plan, which was to, uh, to install FreeBSD 11.2 release again and uh, and set it up the way I like it and actually have a system that I'm that I'm uh, that doesn't get sluggish. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thanks guys.